All right, YouTube, so we have just completed bag four, which was a very, very uh, interesting piece so far. The first three have really been fleshing out the frame and the uh, substructure. In this bag, you basically complete that piece of the, of the puzzle. You get all of your infrastructure and substructure completed. In addition, you also start to do some of the fun pieces of the build, in my mind, where you actually begin to build things to complete the docking bay. And as you can see here, I apologize for the poor filming. It's got a lot of great greebling in there. It's just a beautiful piece, and I'm very excited about doing the rest of the exterior. One thing of note, you will be given four hoses that you're going to bend and route. You will have to do some small cutting of those, so if you can see some of my poor cutting work in there, I plan on probably breaking out a little bit of glue to attach the pieces. That way the tubing will actually be complete in a straight line. But those are four pieces that you will have to slightly adjust once you begin to install those. You'll see that in the instructions. They don't mention that you have to cut them, but you'll see that once you actually put them in and there's a little bit of surplus length that there's just nothing to do with but cut them. One thing of note as well, you will start digging into your additional non-numbered bags. So you will probably be breaking into, in my case, it was a blank bag that had a lot of greebling. That will start providing you some of your flat pieces that you'll need. You won't need a lot of them for bag four, but you will start using those. And one other note, I did mention in some previous videos that I was missing a couple of 1x2 grays. It turns out that's not the case. Those were actually located in bag TY, which contains a lot of uh, additional gray pieces that aren't in the numbered bag sets. So if you find yourself missing any pieces up to step four, I would suggest definitely taking a look at the two bags, TY and this blank bag, and chances are you're going to find those. So as of this point, I am not missing any pieces. In fact, you can start to see I'm beginning to gain a little bit of surplus parts up to this point at bag four being complete. Uh, as you can also see, we were able to clean up a lot of those additional parts that we had in bags one and two. Those are all gone and are now actually part of the substructure. So just bear in mind, you're going to find yourself with a lot of surplus parts seemingly in the first few bags those do get actually integrated and used up in subsequent steps i don't know why they didn't just put them in those appropriate bags to avoid confusion but either way they're there and they'll be ready when you need them so just bear with it the one thing i will say i love so far is i love the solid uniform coloring of the mold king structure i know with lego they do a lot of multi-color which honestly does make the build a little bit easier, especially if you're trying to piece together what, what block goes where on what stud of a particular plate or, or brick. But so much of that stuff usually ends up showing through and you always see these multicolored pieces through pieces of plating and things in some of the Lego bigger items. So despite the difficulty of having to deal with an all black infrastructure like this i think that once it's put together and on display any possible openings that may be visible will be cleared up and cleaned up in my mind a lot better than you would find on a traditional lego one but that's just that's just my opinion but again i will warn since everything is a solid uniform color unlike a normal lego one be ready to count studs and blocks and bricks very carefully as you're putting them together or getting ready to assemble because you're not going to have that, you know, opposite color attachment points, which make it very easy. So some of these steps you are going to have to be very cautious. Just, just keep that in mind. But if you are any type of experienced Lego builder, you won't have any problem. I've had to take one or two small steps back a couple of times where I miscounted and, you know, I consider that just negligence on my part, lack of coffee, not that it's an overly difficult build so far. Other than it's just, it's just huge. I won't lie. This thing is starting to fill up the table. And once you do this step five and begin to start to put out that outer greebling layer, I think this thing is going to definitely have to go lengthwise on my table just so I can keep the damn thing you know, safely uh, protected on on the table structure itself so looking forward to step five and i wish everybody else out there luck if they are already uh, doing this as well so more to come once we finish up step five take care